So how long do EV batteries really last? There's a lot of FUD going around about electric vehicle batteries needing replacing after two years at high cost. It's all FUD, which is fear, uncertainty, doubt. A new study uh, published by Geotab has shown that is not the case. And in fact, the uh, average electric vehicle battery will last 20 years or outlast the life of the vehicle. I've maintained that for quite a few years now. So these people originally did a study uh, in 2019. And here it is. Um, they found that the average battery degradation was 2.3% per year. Now, that's five years ago, which isn't too bad. But in 2024, they performed a new analysis resulting um, uh, that EV batteries will degrade at the rate of 1.8% per year. So the Geotab research shows that EV batteries will last about 20 years um, or more if they degrade at an average rate of 1.8%. Now, you've got to remember that battery degradation is not a lineal thing. What will happen is that um, the battery degrades rapidly for the first six months or so, and then very, very, very slowly. So um, if we take another look at the Geotab website here, we'll see that... Um, over time, it degrades quickly, then it's very sort of linear, and then towards the end of life, it just tails off much quicker. But over here, we're talking 20-year uh, lifespan. So in 2019, it was a lot worse. Nowadays, it's a lot better. So if I look at my Tesla Model Y, which I've had just over two years now, it's lost approximately 4% of range. So the um, mileage indicator on a full battery, now it's not accurate, but as a guide, when I got it, it said 435, and it now says 414, which is 21 kilometers lost, which is just over 4%. Now, that's actually slowed down recently because that initial drop was fast. Now we're on a very, very slow decline. So the battery, uh, certainly my Tesla Model Y, I'm not concerned about losing 4% in two years, 2% a year. Um, yeah, okay, so in 10 years, it's only down to 80%. That's still pretty bloody good. And as I said, it's going to slow down that degradation. So the question is, Will my EV battery and your EV battery wear out? Well, look, all batteries will wear out um, and degrade to a point where they're of not much use, certainly for uh, driving your vehicle. But it's going to take so long nowadays. Um, it won't need replacing. Your vehicle is going to need replacing before the battery. There are the odd instances, I will admit, where the battery will degrade and need replacing. Uh, maybe that was faulty manufacturer or something. But most batteries nowadays have got an eight-year, 160,000-kilometer warranty. Some have got seven-year, unlimited-kilometer warranty. MG's now got a 10-year, unlimited-kilometer warranty. So your battery's fine. It is the most expensive part of the vehicle, admittedly, but it's not going to need replacing. And if it does in the first seven or eight years, it's under warranty anyway. So, yes, they're going to lose a bit of range, but it's not going to be huge. And at the end of the life of the battery, like the car's worn out, and take the battery out and repurpose it for um, a stationary storage as a lot of batteries are now being used for stationary storage where the car's been written off but the battery's still fine so what things will affect your car electric vehicle battery life 
well, firstly, age. The older it is, the less likely it is to be able to maintain the original uh, mileage or kilometres driven. Temperature, too hot or too cold over many, many times uh, during the year will also affect its ability to maintain the range. Um, the state of charge. So some batteries you can charge up to 100% on a weekly basis, LFP batteries. Uh, the ternary batteries or NMC type batteries, you've got to maintain at 80%. Um, AC versus DC charging. Uh, now there's conflicting reports I've seen here. Fast DC charging constantly will degrade the battery faster than slower AC charging. Um, the number of cycles that it's done. Um, the, as I said, the chemistry of the battery, LFP, seems to have more cycles, like about 3,000 cycles, uh, than the NMCs, which are about 2,000 cycles. And the thermal management of the battery uh, will also uh, come into play. So modern-day electric vehicles have got really good thermal management, unlike um, Nissan Leafs of old, whose thermal management uh, didn't actually exist. So, temperature is one thing that will affect your EV battery life. Um, so, if your battery is exposed to um, hot days, many, many hot days, it will degrade faster than those in temperate climates. Um, and those that are stored in really cold weather. Now, I'm thinking Australia here, um, Arizona in America, very hot places, uh, Norway and the um, uh, Scandinavian type countries and the Nordic countries in general, if you include Iceland and Greenland. They're very cold, uh, but they won't um, degrade quite as fast as those that are cooked too much. So in the Geotab article, um, we've got here the battery state of health um, versus time for varying climates. So the uh, green line here is temperate climates and the darker blue line here is for hot climates and it's degraded faster over four years but it's only lost about 10% after four years. Now apart from uh, the temperature affecting uh, the battery the make and the model also does affect the battery performance. Some of the older models didn't have quite the same control of battery temperature. So the um, the older models, not quite as good as the modern day uh, models. So as I said before, um, looking at uh, the Nissan Leaf, so we go here, We've got the, the top line here, the limey green one, is a 2015 Tesla Model S, which has only lost about 10%, and that's um, over quite a long period of time. And the Nissan Leaf has dropped down almost double. Um, so that's because the Nissan Leaf didn't have quite as good a um, thermal management system if it had one at all so your your ev the newer models are lasting far longer than the really older models but even so yeah i mean tesla's i know uh, a mate of mine he's got three hundred thousand plus on his uh, uh tesla model s and it's still going great um there's a guy in um, Sydney, who's using his Model S as um, a taxi, uh, he had to change his battery after 666,000 kilometres. Yeah, 666,000 kilometres he had to change the battery. That's not too bad. And that was for an older Model S. The current models are doing far, far better already stated that, you know, if you do DC fast charging, it will degrade the battery slightly faster. Um, that's very variable. 
But looking at this GeoTab survey here, you've got the top line, which is never had um, a DC fast charge. The middle line, which is naught to three times per month. And the bottom line, more than three times per month, so about once a week. Um, in my two years of owning my Model Y, I've DC fast charged it maybe three times in total over two years. So this does show that the more you DC fast charge, the slightly, uh, it'll be slightly increased degradation of your battery. But overall, it's not that much, uh, not that bad, really. Um, the uh, one that's never been fast charged is down to about 90%, and the other one's down to 82%. So it's not not disastrous by any way shape or form and this is very variable once again depends upon the make and the model so we're going to have to wait and see some of these new battery technologies and batteries that are coming out from um, CATL and uh, Zika and so on they will fast charge very rapidly I mean we're talking 350 kilowatts Hyundai and Kia with their 800 volt architecture will charge quite fast. It's going to be interesting to see how these are going to go. My prediction, they're not going to be all that much different from current DC fast charging vehicles. So let's just quickly explain how you can possibly extend the battery life in your EV. Firstly, temperature. Um, you really need a liquid cooled battery, which I think most of them are nowadays. You don't want an air cooled one, certainly in Australia, where it's a bit hot. Um, I think in the Nordic countries, it probably won't matter. So uh, keep the temperature under control. Um, follow best practice charging. Your manufacturer will give you guidelines. So with Tesla, it's LFP batteries charge to 100% once a week. Um, NMC style batteries charge to 80% and only take it to 100 if you're going on a long trip and then drive it within a very short space of time of it hitting 100%. So don't charge it up to 100%, leave it sitting on 100% overnight and then go and drive it in the, the next morning. That is one sure way to ruin the battery. Um, and, you know, drive your car. Enjoy it. Take it down to 20% and up to 80%. Uh, that's going to prolong the state of a battery rather than going 80, 79, 80, 79, 80, 79. Um, you need to let it discharge quite a, a bit and then charge it up. You don't have to do that every week, but you know every now and again. So in conclusion, EV batteries won't need replacing after two years at huge cost. They're almost certainly going to outlast the vehicle, and you can always repurpose it if the vehicle gets written off anyway. Um, follow best practice in your charging, so don't DC fast charge very often if you can avoid it if not that's fine um, and uh, just enjoy your electric vehicle and ignore all these fudsters around there you have it ev battery degradation it's nowhere near as bad as some people are making out so what do you think what are your best practices for maintaining your ev battery let me know in the comments below and while you're down there there's that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to click on them, please. Thank you very much. It does help the channel. Um, and also in the description, there's um, a link to Kofi, and you can buy me a coffee once off or on a monthly basis. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all very soon.